Thank you, Elin and Andros, uh, or organize this uh, volume and uh, organize this uh, short course. And uh, I'm Xiaobin. Uh, it's a long, beautiful night for me. And uh, good evening, good morning, good night, everybody. So I'm going to talk about a uh, small 70 variation in Sophie today. And this work was done with collaboration with uh, Hui Ming Bao. So first, let's look at the sulfur cycle. From the cycle, sulfur can get its oxygen from the O2, ozone, uh, hydrogen peroxide, and water. So all these uh, oxygen sources have characteristic uh, oxygen output uh, compositions. Uh, and these oxygen uh, signals uh, bear crucial information and uh, information of uh, atmosphere, biosphere, and hydrosphere. So for example, large negative O70 anomaly in Sophie uh, have been used to infer high PCO2 uh, after snowball earth. And the low bioproductivity, low bioproductivity uh, at 1.4 billion years ago. So uh, however, oh, so sorry. However, uh, Sophie O70 variation are small at the most of the ge geological times. So what 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 fact what effects cause these small O70 variation uh, is unexplored for now. Uh, is it caused by the hydrosphere cycle? It's a, it's a, it's a, our uh, question. So if so, uh, can we review this uh, 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 review this uh, cycle? So yeah. Uh, uh, as discussed before, so the water cycle is very critical for climate, for the continental uh, uh, evolution. Uh, however, when we when the uh, small 70 variation is of interest, the, the interpretation is difficult. Uh, the reasons are that the formation pathways are uh, there. There are multiple formation pathways. Uh, so there are uh, multiple oxygen uh, sources in the sulfate. And uh, the, the intermediate, like uh, the sulfide, can exchange with water at the same time. So when the sulfate is exposed to the uh, bacteria, the, the oxygen signal in sulfate can be uh, erased partially or totally due to the reversible reaction of the, of the, uh, the sulfate reduction process and the Sulfide exchange with water. All these uh, all these processes can influence the small O70 variation. Most importantly, all these processes can have their uh, own O70 signatures, like uh, this uh, uh, like this line shows. Uh, it can have a, a negative O70 anomaly because this uh, is a triple oxygen output relationship is smaller than the slope of the reference line. However, when it combined with the kinetic acid effects, it can be shifted to a positive one. Uh, so, so like the, uh, like the sulfate formation and, uh, formation and consumption process, there are, multiple, there are multiple kinetic and equivalent processes. The O70 is, so the, the O70 itself is, is hard to predict. However, uh, some efforts have been done to review these small O70 variations. For example, the killing source from a ball group uh, have measured the Mississippi River sulfate. They interpreted their O70 data as uh, the relative contribution of the oxygen sources and the wet dry conditions. Uh, this, this work is from this this work uh, this work uh, is from uh, David Johnston's group. They they, they found their their river run sulfate can can be positive initially and down uh, downward to the stream uh, the O17 becomes uh, negative. So they interpreted their uh, positive O17 
as the source of hydrogen peroxide, although the hydrogen peroxide, half of the hydrogen peroxide is delivered to the pyrite oxidation site is not clear. In contrast to Killingsworth's uh, interpretation, they interpret their, their O17, their negative O17 anomaly as the microbiosophic reduction. So what is the cause of this small O17 variation is still a debated topic. Uh, here's, our approach, here's our approach to handle this problem. We focus on pyrite oxidation and the microbiosophic reduction processes because these two are mainly so, main sulfate formation and consumption processes, respectively. So we adopt the acetobolog specific kinetic analysis to deal with the reaction kinetics. Uh, these analysis can help us to figure out the most critical parameters to determine sulfate O17 anomaly. We, try, we tried our best to identify end member scenarios and only focus on them because these end member scenarios have a relatively clear mechanisms. So, and we use the Monte Carlo technique to constrain the required parameters. First, let's look at the microbiosophic reduction process. When sulfate, when sulfate is uh, exposed to uh, bacteria, it can exchange with water. When sulfate is, is not at the equilibrium with the water, its oxygen acid combination is dependent, dependent on uh, the, the intermediate, the reversibility, and the, and the, uh, the sulfide exchange with water rate and the redox reaction rate and so on. However, when, however, when, the, when, the, when, the, when the system reaches equilibrium, when the sulfate reaches equilibrium with the water, the, the, the situation will be simplified largely. So we only focus on the, uh, on, on the equilibrium scenario. And the sulfate, the sulfate oxygen acid combination can be uh, calculated by this equation. Next, let's look at the pyrite oxidation. Pyrite oxidation is an important surface source. Semiconductor model is uh, the classical model for pyrite oxidation. In this model, the oxidants get uh, electrons from the iron on pyrite surface. And the oxidized iron get electrons from the sulfur site. And the, and then the water molecule attacks the sulfur to form sulfur, ox sulfur oxy anions. In low pH, uh, in low pH conditions, the, the oxygen process can be, uh, can be, uh, can, uh, the, the, can be ox, uh, the, no, I'm sorry. Uh, in low, in low pH conditions, the, the oxidation process can go down to sulfate uh, directly. Uh, can go to sulfate directly. Uh, in this way, the oxygen in sulfate is excluded, is excluded exclusively from the water. Now we identify this scenario as an end member. And the oxygen acid combination can be calculated by this equation. Uh, however, previous experiments show that uh, even, even in low pH conditions, the, the, the sine sulfate can release to uh, the solution. And, the, and it can uh, convert to sulfite. And the sulfite can uh, be oxidized by this chain through through this chain reaction to be to be sulfate, and in this case, there are twenty five percent oxygen in sulfate is from the O two, and uh, the oxygen acid combination can be can be calculated by this equation. If the oxidant is a, a ferric iron, 
instead of O2, the last, uh, the last oxygen added to the sulfate will be the water. So the oxygen alpha combination in sulfate can be calculated this, this uh, equation. Now we have uh, these four end member scenarios. From, the, from these equations, we can, we, can, we, can, we can know that the only unknowns are the kinetic and the acrylamide acetate effect to determine the sulfate oxygen acetate combinations. So we will constrain these uh, kinetic and acrylamide acetate effect uh, next. And, and these kinetic and uh, equilibrium acid effects uh, is constrained by the Monte Carlo method, except the, the sulfate and the water is this. This one is from uh, the Zibis work, and this theta value is from uh, uh, Edwin Schaub and Young's work in this volume. And and this and these theta are calculated by the reduced mass of the reactant reactant. So with this constrained uh, uh, theta and uh, alpha, uh, alpha and uh, kinetic acid effects, we can predict the uh, sulfate oxygen acid combinations. From this uh, diagram, we can have uh, three striking points. So from the so from the from the from the surface uh, oxidation the so the form of the sulfate can have a uh, O17 anomaly larger than its uh, ambient water. In contrast, uh, the sulfate derived from a solution by O2 is not much negative, even though there are 25 uh, percent percent of oxygen in sulfate is from the O2. We know the O2 the, 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 the atmosphere O2 has uh, about, uh, about uh, minus 0.5 per mil in O17 anomaly. But, uh, but, uh, the, but uh, the derived sulfate is just uh, slightly negative than the, uh, the water. And the, the most negative O17 anomaly in sulfate is, uh, is the equivalent sulfate. So what is the reason? What is the behind the mechanism to determine these, uh, uh, these results? First, let's, uh, let's look at the surface oxidation. We think the large, the large, O7, uh, the large positive O17 anomaly is caused by the, by the large kinetic acid effects associated with the sulfide. Uh, th this is a sine sulfide, actually. So, this larger acetate effect shifts the shift the O17 anomaly to the positive one. While the while the 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 in this case the the larger the larger O17 anomaly in, in O2 is is the reduced by the large kinetic acid effects associated with O2. And the, 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 O17, the negative O17 anomaly is uh, further reduced by the mixing with the uh, positive oxidizing sulfate. So this makes the O17 anomaly in the derived sulfate is just, uh, is just uh, uh, slightly negative than the water. When the oxidant is a uh, uh, ferric iron, this uh, our determine our determinant the kinetic acid effect associated with the sulfide is small for this case. So so the, the uh, like 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 this diagram show the 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 the, the calculated uh, uh, o 17 anomaly in sulfate is as not a, is is not as positive as the sulfate derived from the surface oxidation. The large O17 anomaly, negative O17 anomaly in, in equivalent sulfate, 
is uh, is derived from uh, the large equilibrium isotope fractionation between sulfate and water, and the smaller triple oxygen isotope relationship than the slope of the reference line. So let's look at the uh, predicted results again. I would emphasize that the combination of equilibrium and the kinetic isotope effect can generate observable small O17 variations. And these variations can be used to extract useful hydrosphere, atmosphere, and biosphere information. Uh, now let's look at the what kind of information can, can we get from these O70, uh, these O70 anomaly measurements. This lake at Antarctica is a, a meromictic lake. It is oxic in the upper layer. It is uh, anoxic in the lower layer. So sulfur from the lower layer has a very positive uh, uh, sulfur isotopes and uh, oxygen isotopes relative to the water. So we, which indicates that uh, it reached oxygen isotope equilibrium with the water. So if so, the water O70 anomaly is calculated to be around uh, minus, minus 0 0.15. So this negative O70 anomaly in water indicates that it is a high extensively evaporated. This specific case shows that the sulfate is a, a potent proxy for hydraulic cycle. So this one is uh, about uh, river run sulfate from a uh, uh, David Nostin group. Our results indicate that sulfate derived from a uh, pyrite surface oxidation can produce observed positive O17 anomaly. And the hydrogen peroxide uh, maybe not necessary. Of course, why pyrite oxidation going, the, going through this way in this, in this area is not clear. The negative O70 shift do indicate that there is an active microbiosophic reduction. I should, I should note that the, all the discussion above is about the real sulfate O70 anomaly. It is not equal to the measured ones because, because the NLIT is O2 instead of sulfate uh, when, we measure, when we measure sulfate O7 anomaly. So the yield is not 100%. Actually, it's, it's, it's quite often it's less than 50% yield. The yield is less than 50%. So if the theta, if the theta value for the fluorination process is uh, parallel to the reference line. The, the, the measured the measured O70 will will be the real one. However, if this if this uh, if this theta is uh, larger than the reference line, this this uh, fluorination process will will produce additional. O70, negative O70 anomaly. For example, our, our analysis indicates that uh, the measured O70 in Mississippi River Sophie may be more negative than the, than the, real, than the real one, real value. If it is, if it is shifted by this, by this value, it will match our predict uh, uh, better. And here I want to say, all these all these uh, constraint values are only for low pH conditions, and they are constrained by Monte Carlo results, uh, Monte Carlo method. And this all these theta values, except the Sophie Sophie one, are very empirical. So when these, uh, when these values are determined to be different from uh, the current results, our predictions may be different. So, these, so considering these parameters are urgent and uh, pressing tasks in this uh, 
small seventeen in surface field. And, and only end member scenarios are discussed in this study. However, the situation will be will be will be more complicated in nature. This these situations may be the competition among different pirate oxidation pathway and now uh, 100 percent uh, reversibility of the microbial surface reduction or the competition between the the oxidation rate and the exchange rate uh, for example Cole and Ball's uh, work show that at a high at a, at a pH 9 the 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 oxidation rate is higher than the sulfite water exchange rate initially, and uh, and, uh, and, uh, and slower and slower than the exchange rate later. Another compli another complicating factor is the uh, microbes. So microbes can catalyze the oxidation of uh, of ferrous iron. Or catalyze the sulfur oxidation, oxidation directly. Quite often, different microbes work together to oxidize the pyrite. So, this will make the interpre interpretation of sulfate O17 more difficult. Well controlled experiments are required to look into these processes. Therefore, there are plenty of research opportunities. Here are some we think the most pressing ones, uh, such as calibrating the small 17 version, uh, small 17 measurements, calibrating intrinsic triple oxygen isotope effect, calibrating reaction rate constant, uh, sorting out reaction pathways, and knowing the role of microbes. So all these are required to uh, better interpretation of the a small 17 variation in sulfate. To sum up, uh, sulfate triple oxygen isotope combination is a potent proxy for ancient surface environments. When the small 17 anomaly is of interest, reaction mechanisms are crucial to interpret the data. There are ample re research opportunities along this line. So this work is just a framework for, for the interpretation uh, more work are required to, to refine this, uh, refine the framework. Thank you. Thank you. So, questions from the audience? There are no questions in the chat. Anyone in the audience? Uh, yeah, I, I have a, a question. I, I don't know if I can phrase it very well. Um, uh, Xiao Min, that was that was a really good talk. Thank you. I, I'm wondering uh, this if we can sort of get to the to the bottom line in a way, and uh, at what value of cap delta seventeen in sulfate uh, are we not able to try to pull out a CO two value? So you know, I mean, that's what Hui Ming. Bao and and I think you were on the paper as well, and and me uh, were doing in the you know way back when uh, for the Marinone, and, and I I remember you know you were talking about those small cap deltas. yeah exactly you were talking about the small cap deltas and and I was always so tempted to to think well can we use this for something, <laughs> and you know it's exactly what you're talking about. I'm just I'm just wondering where you know what is the limit after after you've looked at all these processes where how where, where, you know, how small in cap delta 17 can we, how small in magnitude cap delta 17 can we get before other things uh, other than CO2 are involved? Uh, according to our present results, the, the 17 range like uh, from a uh, positive uh, 0.15 to negative uh, 0.1. Yeah. So beyond this range, I think uh, maybe the O, the you know the O2 signal and the the PCO2 can be extracted. But, uh, okay. It's it's re really 
preliminary results. So I, I, I don't know. OK. All right. Well, yeah, it's really, really good stuff, though. Thank you. OK, thank you. Well, other questions for Xiaobin? There is one here. Um, does the dissolution of sulfate minerals from the continents, for example, the dissolution of ancient evaporites, contribute to the triple oxygen isotope composition of marine sulfate? Can you, can you, read, can you read this question, Anne? Yes, of course. I'll read it again. I'll read it. Okay. Does the dissolution of sulfate minerals from the continents for example, the dissolution of ancient evaporites contribute to the triple oxygen isotope composition of marine sulfate. Okay, so uh, actually there, yeah, there, there are the contribution from the eva uh, ancient evaporite. Uh, uh, David Johnston group measured the measured the the one uh, evaporite. It's a uh, they are, they are O seventeen is about uh, minus minus point zero five, I think, my, my, uh, zero six, something like that. All right, thank you. Also the question, I'm sorry. <laughs> So um, no comments on the last talk. Well, I guess we can uh, start the informal program. So that's the last talk. Thanks every speaker who participated and gave wonderful presentations. All talks are recorded and uh, you can uh, able to ac access talks if you miss them or your colleagues miss them on FTP web uh, website.